So this one we're going to solve for f. We have c equals 5 ninths times f minus 32. So we've got to get f by itself. So the answer should look like this. f equals something, right? So the trick is to think, well, what do we do first? The first thing that's been done to f is it's 32 is being subtracted. But then all of this is being multiplied by 5 ninths. So we have to kind of undo the last operation first, just like untying a knot, do the last knot first. Um, so we actually have to, if we multiply, if we get rid of the 5 ninths, then we can add the 32. So we have to think about what can I multiply this by to turn it into a 1, basically. So you're going to multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. I'm going to turn that into a 1. So 5 ninths times what would give 1? That's the question, right? In other words, if you want the 9 on the bottom to cross cancel, what do you need up here? 9. Right. And the 5 to cross cancel down here, we need a? 5. That's it. Yep. So if we actually multiply by 9 fifths, this whole thing becomes 1. You can think of well, it's 45 over 45, which is 1. Uh, and, or you can see how they cross cancel. The 5s cross cancel, and they make 1s. The 9s cross cancel, and they make 1s. So if I multiply by 9 fifths on both sides, I'll get 9 fifths times C equals 1. And this is just, you know, 1 times F minus 32. And you can multiply the 1 in, distribute the 1 in, and you just get F minus 32. Does that make sense? And now we just have to subtract 32 to deal with. So what are we going to do to get rid of subtract 32? You're going to add it. Add 32. Yep. So that gives us 9 fifths times C plus 32 equals F. And that's our formula for Fahrenheit. Get Fahrenheit to Celsius. That's what you do. So um, if you get cross Celsius to Fahrenheit, yeah. What's that? If you cross cancel the nine, the five nine, the five yeah. five over nine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Never mind. I see where you're at. Yeah. Then you get you get kind of like a one in front of the parentheses, don't you? Yep. And then you had to do the same thing to the other side of C. Yeah. You got to multiply the right, the left by nine fifths also. Yeah. We multiplied both sides by nine fifths. Yep. Gotcha. Yep.